Well, I don't know if you can see it, but down in there I mounted a receiver and a CC3D open pilot board. And uh, I'm going to try this out for some stabilization. Cheap board I got from uh, eBay. Uh, about uh, $10 US or $14 Canadian right now. Um, I've got it set up on the uh, gear switch. So right now it's fully manual. Oops, we don't have reception. And uh, there we go. So on the gear switch I have it set up for some stabilization. You see the surface is moving. And uh, with the gear switch off, completely manual. Murphy Murph, shush. Well, I we're off a little bit on our trims here. Let's see what's that looks a little better. Okay, well let's give it a try, see what it does. A little breeze today, nice clear day for a change. <laughs> Sun's bright. I'm gonna to try to fly over here a little bit. So there's it's a pretty stable plane anyway. I did this for a friend who's just learning, and I thought it might add a little confidence if he lets go of the sticks and it levels itself. So it needs a little up trim just to fly level without stabilization. turn it off <laughs> it's going down I can override it it's turning So there's a stabilization on. It's doing, so you can see it does the micro connections, but its level flight is off. Its uh, level orientation isn't set quite right, obviously. It wants to uh, drop the wings and. It's limiting the bank to that much. Not getting pretty far away. Just playing around with the trims, see if that makes a difference. With the level flight. That's full bank, full up. It lets me go high enough that I would stall it. That's full bank. Put some rudder in there as well. Get it to turn. Likes a little rudder this plane. Uh, you can see a little jittery. A little bit maybe too uh, sensitive on the stabilization. Hands off, levels itself out. You know what, I put it on the bench and I did the level calibration on the bench and put it in the plane and I didn't redo it. So that's what I'll need to do is to level the plane, uh, plug the uh, USB cable in and just uh, 
make sure that I set the level orientation. It's just sitting on Velcro in there. It's probably not sitting quite straight. It's a bit cold today, minus five it said while I was in the truck when I was driving over here. But man, it's nice to see the sunshine. You've been looking at my previous few videos. Every one has been dark and cloudy. Yeah, just a slight drop to the nose. Oh yeah, I don't have sunglasses on. That is really bright. Yeah, I think this would be a help to my friend Ted. I built him uh, one of these same uh, FT Explorers. And if he panics and lets go of the sticks, then the plane's going to fly itself for a bit. And give him a chance to figure out what he's doing and then carry on. So there's hands off. Nice, nice flight. Little tiny bit of jitter in the wings it's compensating for the wind filtering it to be a little smoother play with it a bit more but that's pretty good that's without any tuning just right uh, out of the box just load the firmware set up the parameters for kind of plane it is plug it all in and that's uh, that's the way it flies cheap 10 bucks free shipping There's just a rudder turn. <laughs> nice. The plane's keeping the wings level for me. Yeah, doing a rudder turn. I'm really not doing any aileron input at all, and it's just keeping itself level. Stabilization off. Now I could go a little bit crazier. <laughs> Fly it. Air stabilization on, except it wants to go nose down a little bit. Relevel it, it should be good to go. All right, bring it in. I gotta go back to work, just a quick break here. Go fast enough to take off from the snow. <laughs> I 
Anyway, that's it.